Hello everyone and welcome to my Extreme Chunk Hardcore Iron Man. This is episode one and I am Fally Farm Boy. Um, some of you may have already guessed I am in South Fallow Farm. Let's go over the rules. First of all, I have to equip the best in slot equipment. Uh, kill one of each NPC. The highest available skilling method. Complete all quest steps. And so my current goals are 48 cooking uh, to make cheese, 7 farming to grow cabbage, uh, a black cape from the highwayman, and finally the blue wizard hat. Um, so not very many goals in this episode. Let's go through some levels. 2 strength and 4 combat. That's the first levels of the account. I've got my first random event at the account as well. Let's have a look. We're going to get a strength potion, I think, from this guy, because I do not have access to any herbs. So, at the minute, I'm just exploring the area. Uh, so we've got some buckets that spawn, two bucket spawns. Um, I'm just going to see if they're worth any money at the shop, because uh, otherwise there's not much I can do to make money, and I'm going to need a rake. Uh, they're worth one coin, which is good. And a rake is six coins. So, three strength, two prep. So here I'm just selling off my buckets I've collected uh, to make enough for my rake. I need six coins. One more. There's six coins. Let's purchase our rake and start our farming grind. First I'm going to cook some chickens, there's three cooking, two farming. Here is the hardest fight I have to deal with, the entire chunk, a level 5 highwayman. And what we want from this guy is the black cape. Now there are differences between the two, there's one with a cloak and one without a cloak, or hood. The one without a hood drops the cloak, and the one with a hood doesn't drop the cloak. And as you can see, I'm struggling quite bad here, but luckily I've got a lot of food. Um, and there's my black cape. I'm getting attacked by this one, um, but I don't think I'm going to kill it. I think it's going to be a waste of food, um, but I may as well give it a try. Uh, I think these do drop iron bolts or steel bolts, I'm not sure which. Now there are a few exceptions. Now, I forgot. <laughs> One thing I forgot to mention when I was doing the rules is there are a few exceptions to some of the extreme rules. Um, so I guess you could call this a semi extreme rule account. Um, when it comes to smithing, um, I will not be doing superheating as a primary training method for smithing. If there is no smelter available, um, then unfortunately the, the, the bar requirement won't be there. Um, it's mainly down to the chunks around me that will require uh, smithing rune um, with purely superheat. Um, and I get a chance at two rolls um, and I get to pick which one. Um, it just makes it less of a, a horrible grind for myself. Five shrimp and five combat. And we managed to kill it. And there's six shrimp. Uh, 11 hit points, 3 prayer, 7 cooking, 8 cooking, 7 strength, and 50 total level, 9 cooking, 3 farming, can now grow barley, So here we go guys, collecting my first nice big stinky load of compost. I'm going to spread it all over my farm. And now I'm replacing the compost bin with fresh cabbages. Six farming. One more level to go. Eleven cooking. 
And there it is guys, seven farming. We can now plant cabbages. I don't know why it didn't tell me that, but there we go. So I'm gonna put all my compost in the, the leprechaun and go get some cabbage seeds. Uh, I need one more. Let's see how long this takes. Yep, no seed yet. Let's see. Come on, Mr. Cabbage Seed. Where are you? They are quite rare. I don't actually know the, the, the drop rate. And here we go. There it is. Three cabbage seeds. What, yeah, what I find odd is you plant three cabbage seeds, but it fills it with like 24 cabbages. Um, come on, Jagex. Fix your game. And of course the weeds refresh. Let's get them out of the way. I had already composted it earlier on for some juicy XP. Um, and now it's planted. Let's go buy a water can just in case. No, my luck. I'll probably get diseased anyway. Go fill up with water. It is supposed to reduce the chances of disease watering it. And this will be my first skilling milestone of the account once they grow. I am pretty sick of seeing cabbages to be honest, there are a lot of them. Cat the farm stinks of rotting cabbages. Let's get this watered. Make this while I'm here. So just watering it again. Trying to keep on top of it because I really don't want it to die. Then shrimp. Black wall hammers. Five prep. Twelve cooking. Thirteen cooking. And of course, my cabbages are diseased. I'll be totally honest, I'm not surprised in the slightest. I've watered them every cycle, but of course they still get diseased. I guarantee if I didn't water them once, they wouldn't get diseased. But luckily, sold enough buckets and compost to have enough to buy some plant cure. So let's go cure this and Unfortunately, we're going to have to wait another tick to get that milestone completed. So, uh, to be honest, we're in no real rust. We've got uh, a lot of cooking chickens to do, so yeah, it doesn't matter too much. Let's just water these and uh, move on with our lives. I'm killing my first imp. Uh, and we've got some fiend ashes and some chicken. It's three attack, four attack, and eight combat, six prayer. So I have changed my combat style to uh, attack. I'm just going to get them up in increments of ten, I think, um, up to thirty attack, because Adam. Weapons the only thing I'll be equipping around these chunks for now. So we're going to go for 30 across the board and then just drain strength. It's 14 cooking. Attack. 6 attack. 15 cooking. 16 cooking. Cook some rabbit. And here we go. First big milestone of the account. And harvesting some cabbages. Uh, so I just get eight, eight farming with this as well. Um, grow some hops. Um, and manage to get eight, 75 total level as well. Just progressing a lot with this account now, which is great. So that just leaves on 
one big milestone now. Shout out to Jody McDennis. Checking out my video. Seven attack, thirteen hit points, seven prayer, eight attack, and ten combat. Seventeen cooking. Cook some snails. Nine attack. I got a beginner blue, blue scroll. A shanty pass won't be going anywhere near that. Eight prayer. Ten attack and eleven combat. Eighteen cooking. Uh, trying my luck at another imp. In hopes to get the blue wizard hat. Let's see what we get. A mind talisman. Nine farming. Two defense. Three defense. Four defense. Nineteen cooking. Can make a door and stout. Twenty cooking. Five defense and twelve combat. Fourteen hit points. Nine prep. Six defense. Twenty one cooking. But I can churn some cream now. So here we go, let's churn some cream. I'm curious as how how much XP I get. Actually, I haven't actually checked how much we get, so let's have a look. 18 XP. That is not very good at all. Considering killing chickens, we get feathers, prayer XP, combat XP. Uh, we got a random event here. But it's the frog, I think I dismiss it. There's tempera. 22 cooking. Nine defense and a hundred total level. Ten defense. Okay, now I'll black armor. Eleven strength. Moving back onto strength training. Another beginner clue. We won't be going anywhere near there. 15 hit points. 12 shrimp. 11 prep. 23 cooking. 10 farming. 13 shrimp. 24 cooking. Twelve prep. Twenty five cooking. Fifteen shrimp. Sixteen hit points. Little Easter egg in the chat there. Had the uh, main man Boaty run past me while he's doing easy clues. Accidentally shut the door on him. There's twenty six cooking. Thirteen prep. 17 strength, 27 cooking, 11 farming, we can now grow rosemary, 18 strength, and 17 combat, 14 prep, there's a grave digger random event, um, I will not be collecting all of the collection slots before I move on from this junk, it's not an extreme rule, rule set, but some good fashions escape there. 17 hit points. 28 cooking. 19 strength. And 125 total. 29 cooking. 20 shrimp. And 18 combat. 15 prep. 30 cooking. Don't mind me, just pumping some more cream. Eighteen hit points, thirty one cooking, can I make cakes, biscuits? cakes? Sixteen prep, thirty two cooking. Now we're doing the chef's guild, twenty three shrimp, nineteen hit points, seventeen prep, twelve farming. Can now grow tomatoes. Thirteen 
Fizzy free cooking. Twenty four strength and twenty combat. Thirty four cooking. Eighteen prep. Twenty hit points. And twenty one combat. Thirty five cooking. Can now make pizzas. Nineteen prep. Twenty six strength. Thirty six cooking. Twenty one hit points and a hundred and fifty total level. Twenty seven shrimp. Twenty two combat. Thirty seven cooking. Another beginner clue scroll. See if we can do this one. No, oh, real though. Nope. 28 strength, 22 hit points, 38 cooking, I can now churn butter, let's see what the XP is like for butter, 41 cookie, uh, XP, that's not too bad, that's better than chickens. Another random event. Get myself a le leather hose and shorts. Sprechen Sie Deutsch. 13 farming. Another attempt at an imp. And a bucket. And some fiendish ashes. Here comes another imp. And a jug. A yellow bead. These ashes are actually quite good. 10 XP each. A bit better than the chicken bones. Ball of wool. And some burnt meat. Not very good. Another beginner clue from chickens, north of Falador. Another beginner clue, 39 cooking, 30 strength and 23 hit points. 24 combat, 22 prayer, uh, 11 attack, 12 attack. 13 attack, 14 attack, and 25 combat. I got myself a genie, I'm gonna put it all in onto um, so I can train on the uh, implings once I get uh, baby, baby imps back barehanded. There's 40 cooking. Just uh, using up the little bit of cash I had. A 15 attack, 23 pair, 16 attack, 24 hit points, and 26 combat. Another clue, 18 attack, 41 cooking, getting close. And 175 total. 19 attack. 27 combat. 20 attack. 24 prep. 28 combat. And 21 attack. A genie lamp. Let's stick it on Hunter. Attack speed. 25 hit points. 32 cooking. 22 attack, 23 attack, 14 farming, 25 prep, 24 attack, and 29 combat, 43 cooking, 
Another beginner clue, Varrock East, 25 attack, 26 attack and 30 combat. I'm just killing some of the NPCs I haven't already killed. There goes the calf. And 26 pair. Now let's go for the big boy cow. One more hit, there we go. And he's down. 27 attack, 44 cooking, 28 attack, and 31 combat. So I got 4 uncut emeralds from the Molly event, and blue wizard hat from the imps. There we go, best in slot magic here, and the only hat I can actually get. Look at me, I'm an absolute beast. I think I would win first in any Halloween competition. Yeah, I love my little my hair locks coming out the bottom. Look very cool. And 29 attack. 27 for it. Another beginner clue. Same again. 45 cooking. Can now cook meat pizzas. 15 farming no great trees 30 attack 32 combat and 200 total level uh, 11 defense 12 defense So did the maze event, got noted mithril ore and two nature runes, unfortunately there's no way of attaining um, fire runes in this chunk and there's no bank to unnote the mithril ore so both of them are completely useless to me, I'm going to drop them and keep the coins. Uh, 13 defence and 33 combat with 14 defence, 28 hit points, 15 defence. 16 defense, 17 defense, and 34 combat, 28 prayer, and 46 cooking, 18 defense, 19 defense, 20 defense, can now equip mithril armor, and 35 combat, reek, 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 16 as farming. Shout out to Joe Song, keeping me company. 21 defense. Another beginner clue. We cannot do. 22 defense. 29 hit points. 17 farming. Another beginner clue. We cannot do. 23 defense. And 36 combat. 29 prayer, 47 cooking, can now make baked potatoes and cheese, 24 defense, I've got an evil bob event which is good, get some nice 7 fishing, 26 defense, um, I think we found skill specs the dog here, wasn't interested in those uh, 73 coins. 18 farming, and here we go, 48 cooking, I can now churn some cheese, got my milk bucket here, in preparation to finish this chunk, um, you've got to love the pathing in this game, I think that's why we all play it, here we go, I've marked it just in case I forgot where it was, there we go, Churn in the cheese, stroke in the rod for some reason. It does take a very long time to churn this cheese. I don't think it's a very good viable method, but here we go. There is my highest skill requirement for this chunk. 
48 cooking to make a cheese. So let's go finish off the last task which is to complete the only quest stuff available in this chunk. Then we can help this guy. Curse has been laid on his chest. Let's, uh, chip, sorry. Let's have a look. See what we can do. Unfortunately, all we're going to be able to do is have a look at this chunk. Mm. Maybe two or three chunks time I might reach this place. Which is Remington. And there we go, guys. That is the end of the chunk. I, think I hope you all enjoyed that as much as I did. It wasn't too grindy, but um, here we go. Let's roll for the next one. As I mentioned before, we've got two rolls, and I get to pick the one I think is going to be best. Now we've got Port Sarim and East Thalador. Now I think we both know it's going to be Port Sarim on this one, because East Thalador requires uh, 99 mining, which is going to be a fun one. Um, but it does involve the best training method for mining, so I guess it's not going to be too bad. Um, but yeah. Ports are in, here we come.